bloggers pow Right, let's see if our eyes can take the blowy mess of this N64 fighting game. Right, so through the blurry vision of an N64, here's Deadly Arts. Now this is also known as Gasp Fighters Next Dream. Um, and um, this is the US version because um, for some reason the PAL version I was using on my flash card just just tried displaying in PAL even though it's an N oh I don't know an NC N64 I don't know anyway let's have a look so player select oh we've got a few characters there Joker Flyboy Flygirl maybe Mickey Serena Sammy not many characters there's only what eight characters or seven characters or something Let's be Serena. For her. For her. Yeah, let's be Serena. Let me select the verses. Oh no, hold on. Let me select the character. Oh Christ, what's going on here? No! Right, selected. Very, very strange. And now I need to pick the person to fight against. The fight against the Zami. <sighs> now, the N64 is not well known for its beat em ups, is it? Um, Ready? Fight! So, I'm not sure how this is going to play. It's probably going to be a bit tech and rip off. We've got a block button, two block buttons. I want to kick button, that's it. Seems to be three button fighting style, maybe. Go put it sort of the same sort of idea as Virtua Fighter. I mean, it's very nice looking. But the problem is, is the N64's composite output as the standard makes it look so muddy. Okay, out of dimension replay from crazy special effects. Excellent. Wiggly your foot about like a weirdo. That's great. Round two. Round two, Ready. fight. I don't have any throw moves or anything. Not sure. Oh, yeah, we do have a throw move. That's lovely. So that's block and an attack button together. No. Oh, shit. Usefully enough, the block button is also mapped to the shoulder button. So that's quite handy. So you've got the A and B buttons for the, uh, for the attacks and then the all the shoulder one to block. That's actually quite intuitive, uh, which is crazy. Um, not a big fan of the N64 pad for anything other than F-Zero or Wave Race, so that's quite nice. Uh, also noting that I'm using the digital pad on the N64. It's one of those games that actually uses that. There's not many that does. What's next? Okay, so we're fighting Serena again. Alternate reality Serena's wearing a really silly hat. This is okay. It's, I, th I think the thing is, if you were an N64 owner back in the 90s, you were starved for these decent, decent beat em ups. Sure, you're going to have Mortal Kombat and Smash Brothers, but if you want a Tekken or Virtua Fighter style fighting game, there's not much to choose from. If you want a Street Fighter style sh <laughs> fighting game, you're a shit out of luck. Um, oh no, that didn't work, did it? I'm now being stood on. It's very notched on. Standing. So, oh, I'm standing. Stood on me, sorry. But no, not, not a great start for any 64 fighting games, I'm afraid, this. I might have to give us a go with another character. Let's jump cut to another character, shall we? Right, so we've changed characters. So we're playing with the 
Nina Williams type of character. And instantly, I'm I'm not finding much in the way of difference between these two characters that I've played. It all feels very stodgy. There's no dash attacks. You know, like you can double tap in seconds and break into a bit of a run. Hurry up, Nina. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it's just not that great. It's just not interesting. Round two. Ready? Fight! First attack! Check around the arena. Again, not just standing on the face. Very matter of fact. Pretty much had it with this. It's not very interesting. Shall we see what's next? You lose. So next up we have War Gods. Now this is by Midway, so I'm going to expect somewhat of a Mortal Kombat vibe from this. So choose your god. Are you a god? Say yes or die. Yeah, these are all very generic, aren't they? Hello, ass. Oh, hello. Boobs and ass. Okay. You are Hagen is chosen. This really thinks it's 3D Mortal Kombat, doesn't it? So I'm expecting it to play like a 3D Mortal Kombat, which means two things. I'm not going to enjoy it, and I'm going to be poor with it. Oh my god. It is. This pretty much is Mortal Kombat in everything but name. I will say this, it does move very, very fast. So fast, I'm getting my ass handed to me by Captain Kabuki there, whatever his name is. Jesus Christ. Kabuki Joe wins. <laughs> Kabuki Joe. <laughs> I've absolutely no idea what the special moves are. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I would say it's unbelievable. If Midway could sue itself, it probably would. Let's try the rise of the robots. Thank you. If I can find a kick button, I'll just jump up and kick. So oh, slice. Kabuki Joe wins. Continue. Let's have a quick go with another character then. Let's try the other one. The other busty ass female. Round one, begin! Excellent! Well, well, well that's going to be doing a lot better. Oh, I've got some kind of extendable lightsaber thing going on there. The thing is, that thing, the button layout on the N64 pad there's something weird about having four small buttons and two big ones, which slows my game off a bit. But not enough that uh, Valor has defeated Kubiki Joe. Oh dear, it's three rounds. Maybe I should have set it to one round if I could. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The hit and hope is working a bit better with this. Come on, you can beat him. You can beat him. Prove yourself. Prove yourself with a finishing move you don't know how to do. What's going on with the children in the background holding the green orbs? Oh my god, that's really, really strange. Right, Anubis next. I'm calling him Anubis. I bet his name is Anubis because reasons. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell is going on? Mr. Stargate is kicking me to Margate. 
fuck! Danger, I'd say! Anubis wins. Of course he's called Anubis because predictable. There you go, kick Anubis while he's floating in midair. Time to get Neolithic on your ass. Neo meaning new, lithic meaning stone. Yeah, this is slightly better than Deadly Arts. I thought I was going to really hate this, but I hate it less than Deadly Arts. It's, it's at least it's fairly fluid and fast. And okay, so it's based on Mortal Kombat, which I'm not a fan of. But Jesus Christ! But yeah, actually pleasantly surprised-ish. But I don't think I'd go back and play it ever again. Right, I did say a few minutes ago there wasn't really a Street Fighter alternative for the N64, but then I remembered Killer Instinct exists. Um, again, I've never been a fan, but I can appreciate this at least. I have played this before, so let's go straight in. So select your character. It's still good that there's a character called Saber Wolf in an N64 game. I, that does make me happy. Now this I've played before, so I have at least some idea what I'm doing, apparently. I can't remember the moves, but I'm sure I've played it before. What about fighting games on the N64 and perpetuating cultural stereotypes? A Mayan woman called Maya, and an Egyptian guy called Anubis, Kabuki Joe. That strikes a really lazy character design, but okay, we'll give it a pass because it was the 90s, it was a different age apparently. Well done, you've won Orchid. Supreme victory at that. Fantastic. No fatalities because I can never remember them. Who's next? It's Saber Wolf! Yay, Mr. Spectrum Game! Come on, old kid, you can do it. Yes. Oh. One thing that always got me about Killer Instinct is you've got the um, energy bars, but if you've got energy left over from what would be the first round, you carry it over to the second, so it's unusual. What's going on with that coat rack in the background? Orchid. Right, so next up, Orchid vs. Orchid with the stage with the helicopter and the cool music. Ready. And I've forgotten Orchid could do that spinning kick thing, so I can't even remember how to do that. Oh dear, I'm doing really, really bad. I hate newer matches, I'm so bad. <laughs> There's something. Something subliminal about trying to fight yourself, which I just can't get my head around. But yeah, Killer Instinct is still fun. I wish it didn't look as blurry as a jar of Vaseline smeared over your glasses, but it is still a lot of fun. And this is one I do play on the analog stick. Probably shouldn't do, but I'm enjoying it. And we're out. Let's have another bash at that. Let's party. No, I've vaguely got an idea of what I'm doing with the spinning girl, girly boot attack, whatever it's called. That's a bit better. 
Oh shit, that's not. Nice! Right, who's next? Who's next? Well, one more go, and this is against TJ Boxer, I think his name is or something. Combo! Combo, there we go, TJ Combo. There's a bin there, and they're missing a trick by not having a cat on it. Brilliant. I'm actually really enjoying myself now after those first two games. Oh, one, one more stage against Jago. Oh. Again, the background's really nice, but it's ruined by the N64's video output. I really should get an RGB modded 64 again, rather than this hideous cheap AliExpress HDMI converter for it. Oh shit, I'm completely dead. Okay, speed shit's damage. Yeah, um, actually still really su surprised I still enjoy Killer Instinct. Good stuff. Right, so next up we have Fighters Destiny 2. I did think about playing Fighters Destiny 1, but I thought, well, if you're going to go for it, might as well go straight for the sequel, because it's bound to be better, I guess. So, right. So, we've got our, again, culturally diverse characters. Katie, Kate. Are you ready? All right, this is gonna be wild. This is gonna be wild. Okay, right. So, Katie versus Kate. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna be double Kate and. Oh, oh what? Is this more like a karate game where you've got to get hits on people? Come on, let's do it. You need to fight hard. This actually plays a bit like Virtua Fighter in the way that. The um, kicks and the punches connect. Now finish it. Yes. Five, four, three, two, ring out. Oh, ring out. Fantastic. Ready? Fight. Keep going. Come on. Oh, off you go. That's actually quite nice. I'm. This is, um, surprisingly playable. It plays a, a bit like a. Uh, Ready? A bit like Virtua Fighter, but also, like I say, there's an element of um, karate to it, where you can, where you get points for doing throwdowns, which um, rather than having rounds, you've got these stars at the top. You've got to. Um, get a certain amount of stars either by defeating them or like doing a technical attack like that that throw get down there now oh, can... oh. brilliant three points that lets me win stage one a little bit unusual this and i really do like the presentation on it take your positions Ready? Fight! Come on! Yes! Excellent move! No way! Out! Ring one point! So you've got one point for a ring out. I get two points for a technical throw, I think, or something, but... Fight! Yes! Come on! Oh! No! 
Ready? Fight! Oh! Reversals! Double reversals! Yes. He just let go and fell out! Now the point system does seem to be making the rounds quite long. Um, so I'm not sure it's a good thing or a bad thing. I like my rounds to be fairly quick and snappy in a fighting game, but... Oh, crap! And I could see what I left myself open there. I had no idea how to get round it, but I had my revenge there. Ready? Fight! I don't think he's going to fall for that third time, is he? Fight! Excellent move! Come on! Oh, maybe he is. Brilliant. Okay, let's see what the next character has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, so Seki from Japan. Ready? Fight! Come on! There is a way, seems to be a way to getting out of the throwdowns, but I'm not entirely sure how that works. It's a little gate at the bottom, which comes up, which I think I'll, if I hammer the buttons enough, I'll stop the gate from going down, maybe? Um, seemed to work just then. No! No! Oh crap! Oh no! Oh dear, I've got no stars and Seki's got five. Oh, see, he managed to get out of that. And that. Come on, let's do it! I'm just hitting buttons and hoping now. He just literally just fell up, steps off the edge of that. Five, four, three, yeah. two, yes, one. Time's up. Score. Oh, I won one point for the running out of time, so you only get 30 seconds per bout. Yeah, good presentation with this one. Um, not as fluid to play as, say, Killer Instinct, but definitely better than Gasp and Extreme Deadly Arts and uh, War Gods. Watch out, move! Oh, quick, get up, get up, Kate, get up! Come on, let's do it! Five, four. Oh, running out of time, Kate, quick! It's the last chance! Seki's won that one, and I think that's game over for me. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, when the quarterback is toast. Did I just win the whole match just by doing that? I did. Well, there we go. Ladies and Fighters Destiny 2. Um, actually, really, really pretty good. So, yeah. I would recommend this. I don't know, recommend it more than that guy's suit. <laughs> so there was four games on the N64 which involved the fightings. What did you think of them? Any you recommend? Comment below. Yeah, subscribe or naff off.